In this video by CCTV Camera World, we're going to show you how to connect to your IP camera so you can access its web interface and configure it to work on your NVR. If you follow this tutorial, it's really meant for people who are trying to either one, get an IP camera or PoE camera on their network and address it correctly with a correct IP address, or two, they're trying to access or if you're trying to access the web interface of the camera to set certain settings so it'll uh, work for you either changing its image settings, turning on some sort of event detection, or if you're trying to turn on what's called web compatibility mode for use with older NVRs. If you have an older NVR from let's say QC or Lorax, and you're trying to use our IP cameras, or even any new IP camera, those older NVRs don't have a security protocol that's used by new cameras. And in order to use new cameras on the old NVR, you have to disable certain security features on new cameras to work with your old NVR. And this guide is gonna be helpful for you to follow that. So first thing to connect to the camera, you need to have a PoE injector. I've got a bullet camera here. It's already set to an IP address. Our PoE injector, I'll quickly go over the connections on it. I've disconnected the cables. And if you look at this closely, the left one says P plus D, that means power and data and says out. The right one says data in. I've reconnected my cables. Now here, first the red cable goes power and data into the camera. The right cable goes into your network. I happen to have a switch. If you're using a switch, make sure you're connecting the data cable out of your PoE injector into the data only portion. It's called the uplink port on your PoE switch. In my case, these are PoE ports. These are uplink ports. And next, the PoE injector needs to be plugged into power. So now what's hap happening is you're taking data from your network, mixing with power, and sending it to your PoE camera. PoE cameras on their pigtail have two connections on them. A 12-volt DC, which you'll, you'll, not, you'll probably not use ever if you're using PoE power to power the camera. And the PoE port, which is an RJ45 port. Now, like I said, this camera is on. I know because I have a green light here and I can actually find it on my network using our config tool. So this Avalonix camera, it's a model number IPB403. It's our premium series of products at CCTV Camera World. And using the IP config tool, when I hit refresh, I find that right now I have a lot of cameras that are 192.168.1 something, and then one camera that's 10.1.1.85. That's this particular camera. I know that because I set that IP address on the camera for demonstration purposes. Now, if I hit the web button on it, I'm not gonna be able to access the camera. It's just, I'm just gonna get a loading screen on my Edge browser. And that's because I'm on a different network. So if I go into command prompt, and I type in this command IP config, it shows me my network adapters on here. I have one Wi-Fi adapter in my laptop. It's a wireless LAN and it says the IP address is 192.168.1.209. And the gateway is 192.168.1.1. On a network, I can only access devices that have the same IP address scheme for the first three octets. Everything in between the dots is an octet. So I can access 192.168.1.13, or whatever, but I will not be able to access 10.1.1.85. In order to be able to do that, you can use the config tool to change the IP address on the camera. First hit refresh, and then go into search settings and put the password in for the camera. I'm gonna use another pair of hands to help me do that. So our default password is 10ILTXYH. You'll find it on the box on the camera. So type in the default password for the camera that you know it's definitely for the camera. Hit OK. Now, once that I'm in there, I'm going to hit Edit. And I'm going to specify my own IP address I want to set on the camera. We like to use this IP address on our network because for POV cameras, it's just simple to do. And make sure you set it to static. If it says DHCP, it will not apply those settings. So make sure you click static. Type in the IP address. So if you're using a 192.168.1 network, you would use 192.168.1.something else. I could have used 
13, 2, you can use any number from 2 to 254 for the last octet. We like to use just 109s when we're doing testing. So this is what yours should look like if you have a gateway when you run IP config being 192.168.1.1. I got a green check mark, that means the camera's IP address change. Notice there's nothing else that's 192.168.1.109. When I hit refresh, now I see my camera, it's 109. Now when I hit the web, the camera's web interface pulls up. Now I can access into the camera and change settings in it. I've put in the password, now I'm gonna hit login. So once you're inside, go into settings. So go into TCP IP, and then you'll see that the IP address I configured those settings are right in here. We'll go back to this section to set the IP address back. You could also use the config tool. But let's say you're trying to set image settings. You can go under camera, conditions, change image settings here. We have articles on how to change day and night mode, turn off the IR, change the exposure, brightness and contrast and et cetera. Now, if you're using an old NVR, you'll wanna go into system, then safety, and then in here, you'll want to change this private protocol authentication mode to compatible mode and hit save. Exit the menu, go to some other menu, come back and make sure it's set to compatible mode. Now this camera will work with your old NVR. What you'll need to do is go back into network settings, TCP IP, and change the settings back to 10 dot something. So we'll do that right now. In this case, I'd like to use 10.1.1.85. And then you'll also want to change the default gateway. So cameras can talk to your network and outside your network only if you have the correct default gateway specified. So the PoE ports on the back of an NVR, the gateway for that is usually 10.1.1.1 for our NVRs and for even some QC and Lorex NVRs. So once that's done, hit save and confirm you get this save succeeded message there. Now. I'm going to go back to my config tool, refresh the screen, and I'll see my camera's IP address has been changed. Now I can go connect it back into my NVR, and then I can use it and be able to get video from it on my old NVR. So this is one video to show you how you can access your IP camera by using our config tool. What we did was we took a camera with an IP address that's different from our network, and we configured it to an IP address that's on our network and then we accessed it. We showed an example of how to change its security settings to compatibility mode so you can use it with an old NVR. And we showed an overview of the web interface settings. And then we changed it back to the original IP address. Now let's say the config tool is not working for you. How do you go about accessing the camera? We have another video that we'll link in the comments below that you can actually use to basically connect a camera directly into your laptop. So what you'll have is everything being the same, but that white wire, instead of it going from the PoE injector into your network, it'll go directly into your laptop. So if this method did not work for you because the config tool cannot find the cameras for you, please do watch the other video that we have. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.